To put into context, this video was created before the fire of Valencia, so some of the information may not now be 100% correct. However, the premise still stands. Batteries. Now, this is the fundamental key factor in Formula E. It's the power source. It's the fuel that drives the cars. The problem you get is when a lithium ion battery is punctured or overheats, it starts thermal runaway, i.e. the fire that it produces is self-perpetuating. The chemicals inside the battery start to oxidize. So effectively, you can't smother the fire because it produces its own oxygen. Now, what does that mean? Well, Williams themselves have admitted that they are able to provide a fireproof box that their batteries sit in. This carbon ply material they've manufactured is actually able to withstand the fire of a lithium ion battery for 10 minutes. Enough time for emergency services to be able to retrieve a driver out of the car and begin the flooding process. Yes, flooding. That is Formula E's way of stopping fires getting out of hand in these cars. The batteries that have been designed by Williams have what they call as a dousing port on the top. So this is where a tanker or a fire engine flooding the entire container and sealing all that heat inside whilst trying to cool it down. Now I'm going to assume there's some sort of steam or release vent on the top because otherwise you're just creating a giant pressure cooker. We've never seen it in real life practice because thankfully Formula E has never suffered from an electrical battery fire and long may that continue. However, contingencies need to be put in place. Now, I really think this is an area that Formula E really needs to be able to give back to the wider community because dousing a lithium ion battery in water, to me, is a 20th century solution to a 21st century technology. The sport, in my mind, should be able to look at developing a fire extinguisher or a fire suppression type system within the car itself or a handheld device that can make its way into commercial applications. Realistically, Formula E should be the sport that does that. It's the cutting edge. These guys should be able to develop a technology. Eventually, the move over to solid state will solve this problem. However, there is a lot of lithium ion batteries on the market. Mobile phones, laptops, it is everywhere. I really do think Formula E could bring something to the wider community here and help benefit everybody in their everyday lives.